Okay, what's up guys? So here's my conclusion video. Um, if you haven't jailbroken your iPhone 4 or 3GS on iOS 6 yet to get to this step, you need to do that first. So go to a link. Um, I'll probably put it up in the uh, in the corner here somewhere. And uh, that'll show you how to jailbreak your device so you can actually put in these settings. Now this is how to put in the carrier settings on iOS 6 for iPhone 4 and 3GS. What you're going to need first is a jailbroken iPhone 4 or 3GS and uh, a little bit of information. So once you jailbreak your device and boot it tethered, go into Cydia and you're gonna click Manage, Sources, Edit, Add, and the source is beta, B-E-T-A dot L-E-I-M-O-B-I-L-E dot -E -E com forward slash repo. Now sometimes you will get errors on this when adding this source. Um, don't worry, just keep trying to add it. Sorry if I sound a little muffled, I'm sick right now. <laughs> Once that source adds, <laughs> click Return to Cydia. You're going to click into that source and Edit APN. You're going to click that and click Install. Now a lot of people have been having questions about this method of inputting your settings. Um, now. One of the big questions I get is, well, if I reboot my phone, will my, steady, will my settings stay? Yes, they will. Um, the method you input them um, isn't required by the jailbreak. We just have to gain access to it with the jailbreak. So now once it's installed, um, all you do is go to Settings, General. Oh, let me turn off airplane mode here. So Settings, General, Cellular. And it should say cellular data network. Once you have this, now this is where all your settings go. So for your cellular data, you're going to put in your APN. So if you're T-Mobile, um, you put in the respective one for your carrier. So I'm going to do like I have the T-Mobile settings here. So I'm going to put epc.tmobile.com. Now, T-Mobile does not have visual voicemail, so I'm going to skip that. Now, MMS, I'm going to do the exact same thing, epc.tmobile.com. And for the MMS proxy, now, if you have anything here, just go ahead and delete it. So I'm going to use for T-Mobile, it's http colon forward slash forward slash mms dot msg dot e n g dot t dash mobile dot com forward slash m m s forward slash wap e n c now you're going to click to the next one the m m s proxy on t mobile it is two one six dot one five five dot one six five dot fifty colon eighty eighty. Now the message size is one zero four eight five seven six. And right down here in the MMS UA proof URL it's http colon four slash four slash www dot apple dot com forward slash MMS forward slash UA proof dot RDF. So I don't know if you guys can all see that there. So that's how you do it right there. Now once you're done with this, you just push the back button. And as you can see, there they are, they're still there. Now if you ever reset your phone, like reset your network settings, or pull out your SIM card and put it back in, sometimes these settings will disappear. You also need an internet service to be able to use these. And that's it. So that's how you put in carrier settings on iOS 6. Again, you must first be jailbroken to do this. Watch my newest tutorial on how to jailbreak your device. Very simple. Um, if you have any questions, comment, rate, subscribe, and have a good day.